Ciao friends, and welcome to a new SQL BI video. In this video, I'm not going to talk about DAX. Instead, I want to show you how you can use Tabula Editor to tweak a model.bin file in order to replicate with your own code the behavior of parameters tables in Power BI. You might already know that with the new parameter feature in Power BI, you have the option of creating a table that can be used with a slicer in order to change the behavior of your code or make selections. When you use a new parameter, you have multiple options for the slicers, including the single value option. If you are a guy like me that does not like to use wizards, but you prefer to write your own code, or if for whatever reason you need to change the name or the code of that parameter table, then the single value option is not available. But the thing is, Power BI enables the single value by adding an extended property to the column that hosts the parameter. So we are going to do all the steps, inspect how the single value option is enabled, and then create our own slicer so that we replicate exactly the same behavior as a parameter table. I know, it's kind of cloudy right now, so let's jump to the demo and see how to do that together. We are going to use a, a, an empty model that does not contain anything. So let's start creating uh, a new parameter. If we go to modeling and we click on new parameter, we can create a table that contains a set of values. It needs to provide the name, the data type, the minimum and maximum value, and uh, whether we want a default value or not. And we also have the option of adding a slicer to the page. Just clicking OK generates the table and the slicer. Now, if we inspect the slicer, you see that we have multiple options here. We can use a list, a dropdown, a lot of possibilities, among the many also the single value, which is the default, so that I can type in a value or I can just use it, a slider, in order to change the value. So far, so good. We haven't done anything fancy. But the thing is, you might want to do the same operation using your own code. Now we are going to look at exactly what the wizard did. It just created a table with generate series, it created a measure, and that's it. So you might want to create your own table by writing DAX code. But if we do that, then the single value option will not be available. In order to make it available, we will need to use tabular editor in order to change one of the extended properties of the column. Let me, let me show you this. As I said, the table that has been created is uh, nothing but a table that uses generate series to generate all the numbers between 0 and 20. And I can do the same. So I can just go to modeling, new table, and create my own table. So I call it my parameter. I can use generate series or I can use just a set of values like 1, 2, 5, 20. Uh, 30 and 50, because for whatever reason, these are the values that I want to show. And then, because I don't want to call them values as uh, the default name would be, I use select columns in order to rename the content of the table. And I call it uh, my parameter, return it the result of value. That's it. Now the table is in place. And now I have two tables. I have my parameter and I have a parameter. Moreover, parameter also generated a parameter value measure that only uses selected value on the column. I could do the same here, but that is not interesting. There is nothing really cool to see there. What I want to show you is that if I now copy this slicer and I just duplicate it, and then instead of using the parameter, let me show you that. Instead of using the parameter column, I use my parameter. Place it here, get rid of it. What happens is that I have parameter and my parameter. What if I want to show my parameter the same way as a parameter does? Here I have selected single value. From here, I do not have the single value option. I only have the first five options, but the sixth one is missing. The reason is uh, one table has been created by the wizard and my table has been, has been created by myself. Therefore, the feature is not available. The thing is, uh, 
In order to enable that single value option, the wizard didn't do anything strange or anything magic. It just added one property in the model.bin file that exists inside my Power BI file. I don't have the option of changing this feature using Power BI Desktop, but I can use Tabula Editor to first understand where the difference is and then replicate the same behavior on my model. Let me show you how to do that. We need a tabula editor. I already have it open here. I just need to refresh the model. And you see that we have two tables. We have my parameter and the parameter. Now, if you go a bit deeper on the parameter, that is the table generated by the wizard, we have a lot of properties. We have the expression, uh, and, no, sorry, on the parameter, the column. I have many tables and among the many I have this extended property that contains parameter metadata version 0. If I inspect the same on my own table, this is my column, and under extended properties there are none. That is the property that enables the single value. So in order to make it work, what I need to do is create the same extended property that I have here for the automatically created table in my own column. So what I need to do is uh, edit the extended properties. Here we are. We have parameter metadata version.0. Now parameter metadata is easy to type in, so I just copy version 0 and I duplicate it here. I enable the extended properties. I add one that I no longer remember, so let me write version 0. Uh, if I don't remember, it was parameter metadata. Let me check it, parameter metadata. Okay, let me just double check that I did it correctly. That is parameter that contains the extender property parameter metadata version 0. And now my parameter contains parameter metadata version 0. Now, the last thing that we need to do is save the modifications. And we are going to see live what happens to Power BI Desktop by saving and in the meantime, focusing on the user interface of Power BI Desktop. Let me show you this. I made all the modifications, but I haven't yet saved it. And we can see that if we zoom in and then we look at the details. Look here. My parameter has this sigma symbol that means uh, it will be summed, whereas parameter, the one created by the engine, has a different icon. I made the modification, now I'm saving, and look what happens. Now also my parameter has the same symbol, meaning that it is recognized by the engine as a parameter. And if I look at the details of the slicer, now my parameter has a single value option. I can click on it and change the value exactly as I would do with one of the values of the parameter. But the thing is I have only the values that I define. So as you have seen, this is quite a simple trick. It does not require any heavy change. It does not require you to write DAX code, but you can use it if you ever need to replicate the same behavior of parameter tables created by the wizard with your own code. So you have the capability of writing your own DAX code to build a table, but still make it behave as a parameter table. We didn't talk about DAX, that was just a Power BI and a little trick video, but I still hope that you enjoy DAX.